Artists and Works, toss-ups 1 through 15, or not toss-ups 1 through 15, but toss-ups on the list of 1 through 15. Toss-up 1. A demon flies towards a hanged woman in despair, a scene in this artist's series on the Seven Vices. The enthroned St. Peter of his Stefaneschi triptych is drawn similarly to Mary in his Organisanti Madonna. The blue ceiling of his most famous work is de decorated with stars and circular busts of Jesus and the four apostles. Christ extends his arms and is surrounded by a rainbow in his last judgment. He designed a bell tower in Florence, and angels fly recklessly above a craggy rock in the lamentation scene by this student of Kimabue. That scene was commissioned to atone for the sins of the usurer, Reginaldo Scrovegni. For ten points, name this artist of the early Italian Renaissance who created the arena chapel frescoes. And that's Giotto. Toss-up two. The background of this painting depicts scenes from the Passion of Christ as a feather duster hangs nearby. Summer is signified by a cherry tree seen through an open window in this painting, and the artist of this work signed his name and Fuit Heek on it in the, on a back wall. A single candle is lighted on a chandelier at the top of this painting, and a convex mirror reflects the central scene. A fluffy dog at the forefront of this painting... And clogs lying on the floor signify the title couple's wealth, while a woman in this painting wears bright green. For ten points, the titled Italian merchant is shown holding his wife's hand in what Van Eyck painting? That is the Arnolfini marriage or Arnolfini wedding. Toss-up three. This man is no longer attributed to the construction and instead only the plan for the Pazzi Chapel. Antonio Manetti wrote about how this architect of the Santo Spirito and Basilica of San Lorenzo used a mirror and two panels to rediscover linear perspective. Andrea della Robbia planned the terracotta round rules or roundels, for this man's design of an orphanage with a long loggia, the Hospital of the Innocents. His rendition of the sacrifice of Isaac caused this architect to lose a competition to his rival, Giberti, over designing the doors to the florist Babstri. For ten points, name this Renaissance architect of the octagonal double-shelled dome to the Florence Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore. And that, of course, is Brunelleschi. Toss-up four. This work contains two barrel vaults with hexagonal coffers, and the artist appears in it staring directly at the viewer. This painting, located across from the La Disputa, contains statues of Apollo and Athena flanking the central figures. Unknown figures in this painting may be Bramante and Hypatia. Two men in this painting hold globes, while another man writes on a slab of stone and rests his head on his hand. Another figure in this work lies on some stairs with his legs splayed. That man is Diogenes, who appears with people like Pythagoras and Zeno. For ten points, the philosophers Aristotle and Plato appear in what fresco painted by Raphael. That is the School of Athens. Toss-up five. One work by this artist is situated across from a Donato Montofano Mantorfano work and is located at Santa Maria del Grazie. Another of his works depicts Cecilia Gallerani holding a small white mammal, while another of his works is a drawing based on proportions of a Roman architect. In addition to creating Lady with an Ermine and the Vitruvian Man, he also completed a portrait of Lisa Gerard... Gerandini, which is sometimes called La Gioconda. For ten points, uh, name this Italian artist best known for his paintings The Last Supper and The Mona Lisa. That is Leonardo da Vinci. Toss-up six. In this painting, a paltry man has one snake coiled around him and another biting his genitalia. A figure with claws, buggy eyes, and pointed ears holds an oar astride his wooden boat. In this work, as a man cowers and grasps his head in horror beside him. Along the top of this work, one group of angels brings a column towards the center, while another group carries a cross. St. Bartholomew holds in his left hand his own flayed skin, which supposedly contains a self-portrait of this painting's artist. Danielle de Volterra carried out the fig leaf campaign to cover up the genitalia in this painting. For ten points, name this massive fresco in the Sistine Chapel by Michelangelo, which depicts Jesus consigning humans to their ultimate fates. This is The Last Judgment, Michelangelo's Last Judgment. Toss-up seven. This artist included depictions of the three virtues in his design for the tomb of anti-pope John the Eighth. 
or John the 13th. He supposedly yelled, speak, at a bald statue he made of Habakkuk, which was nicknamed Zucone and is located outside the Orson Michel. An unusually haggard wooden depiction of the title woman comprises this artist, Magdalene Penitent. This man sculpted an equestrian statue of Erasmo Denarni, who was nicknamed the Honeyed Cat or Gatamalata, while his best-known work shows the title figure holding the sword of Goliath. For ten points, name this Renaissance sculptor, known whose version of the David is bronze. That is Donatello. Toss-up eight. This painting's central figure wears the traditional headdress of a married Florentine woman and may have had a didactic purpose for its commissioner's new bride, Semiramide de Paanio. De Dapiano. The most left the leftmost figure in this work drives away some clouds with his staff, while another figure has flowers spilling from her mouth. A blindfolded Cupid aims his flaming arrows in the direction of three dancing graces in this painting. A woman on the right of this work, who is either Chloris or Flora, is being grabbed by a blue-skinned zephyr. Orange trees and a bed of roses make up the setting of this painting, in which Venus stands before Myrtlebush. For ten points, name this Sandro Botticelli masterpiece set during spring. And that is La Primavera. Also, number nine. One of this man's works was probably modeled after Pantarches and was set up at Olympia. Uh... Anna Dumenus. This student of Hegelaras and rival of Hegius created a work in which a bare-headed figure holds a helmet with her extended right hand. One of his sculptures lay between the Propylaea and a building which housed another of his sculptures. That sculpture was the tale of Pandora's birth in relief on its pedestal, holds a small statue of victory, and has a sphinx on her helmet and Medusa's head on her breastplate. For ten points, identify this Greek sculptor of numerous Athenas, such as Athena Promachos and Athena Parthenos. That is Phidias. Toss up ten. A bearded man shakes hands with the Queen of Sheba in a scene from this work that may represent the Treaty of Santa Maria Novella. Commissioned by the Arte di Calamala, Calamala this work was a follow-up to a project completed 70 years earlier by Andrea Pisano. Its artist sculpted himself into a medallion piece over the nativity and adoration of the Magi scenes. During the 20 years that it took to create its tin panels, the artist also created bronze statues for the Orsan Michel and was helped by Michelozzo. A scene in bronze of Abraham sacrificing Isaac was created by two artists competing for this commission. The loser in that competition was Brunelleschi. For ten points, give the name of this portal for the baptistry in Florence created by Lorenzo Giberti. And that is the Gates of Paradise. Toss up 11. Giorgio Vasari wrongly claimed that this artist invented oil painting. A painting by this artist, recovered by the Monuments Men, was returned to St. Bravo Cathedral, Obavo Cathedral, minus two panels that were stolen in 1934. This artist wrote that he was here above a mirror in one painting. This artist made Grisail paintings of John the Baptist and depicted a sheep bleeding into the Holy Grail for an altarpiece commissioned by his brother. In a painting by this artist, a a pair of wooden clogs and a small dog sit below a man in black and a woman in a green dress who hold hands. For ten points, the name of this painter of the Ghent altarpiece and the Arnolfini marriage. That is Jan van Eyck. Toss up twelve. One of this man's sculptures shows a monkey grasping the shin of a writhing figure. This man designed the Laurentian Library for the Basilica of San Lorenzo. The biblical subject of one of his sculptures is notable for having horns. This man, who created Dying Slave and Moses for the tomb of Pope Julius II drew himself in the flayed skin of St. Bartholomew in, another, in one fresco. Another of his frescoes shows a man stretching his arm to touch God's finger. This painter of the creation of Adam and the Last Judgment also sculpted a male nude with a slingshot over his shoulder. For ten points, I'd defy this Italian artist who sculpted a marble David and painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. That is Michelangelo. Toss up 13. In one painting by this artist, a woman watches as three young satyrs blow a conch shell in her sleeping lover's ears. In another work, six angels hold books surrounding Mary while she carries Jesus, who holds the title fruit. In addition to Venus and Mars and Madonna of the Pomegranate, this artist painted a work in which Cupid flies above the three graces as Mercury stands to the far left, waving clouds away with his caduceus. That painting, set in an orange grove, is La Primavera. Chloris 
Paris and Zephyr blow wind to push the tidal figure in another work, which shows the goddess of love standing on a shell. For ten points, name this Italian painter of The Birth of Venus. And that is Botticelli. Toss up 14. For one location, this artist created a series of paintings depicting miracles by popes, such as the fire in the Borgo or the Borgo. This artist used the face of Laocoon from the sculpture Laocoon and his sons for the face of Homer sitting next to Apollo in his painting Parnassus. A row of biblical figures in heaven are separated from several bickering theologians below in this artist's disputation of the Holy Sacrament. Julius II commissioned this artist to decorate the Stanza della Signatura with paintings such as one showing Aristotle and Plato conversing in the middle. For ten points, name this painter of the School of Athens. And that is Raphael. Toss up 15. The central figure in this work is possibly based on Simonetta Vespucci. The bottom left corner of this work displays cattails, uh, cattails, while the right side of this painting contains three tall trees and an orange grove in the background, as well as a red haired figure who extends a red floral patterned robe towards the title figure. On the left side of this painting, many roses fall around Chloris and Zephyr, who blow wind towards the title figure as she stands upon a clamshell and emerges from the sea. For ten points, name this Botticelli painting, which depicts the title Roman goddess of love. That is Birth of Venus. Toss up 16. This artist depicted a woman in a headcloth holding a baby, standing behind a man cloaked in orange, lying dead before the feet of the apostles in his fresco, the distribution of alms and the death of Ananias. Ananias. His earliest work, Central Panel, contains the Virgin Mary holding Jesus while seated on a stone throne framed by two kneeling angels draped in pink on a green floor, known as the San Giovanile. Triptych. This Renaissance artist was given his nickname by Vasari for neglecting hygiene due to his strict adherence to his art. For ten points, name this student of Masolino who painted the tribute money. That is Mosacchio. Toss up 17, which is the last. The art Nicias painted in the details of some of this man's works. The courtesan Frenet was the model for one of his statues. One of his statues shows a boy god leaning against a tree that is being climbed by a lizard. In addition to Apollo Sauroctonos, this man created a work that Pliny the Elder believed to be the finest statue in the world, Aphrodite of Nidos. For ten points, name this Greek sculptor of Hermes carrying the infant Dionysus. That is Praxiteles or Praxiteles. Good luck. Keep studying.